Hi everyone, my name is Josh. I'm a developer here at Mantium, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the updates to Intellets that we've been working on. So the first thing you'll notice when you go into Intellets is that they have a new look. If you were unfamiliar with Intellets before, um, or if you had used them, the functionality also has a little bit of, a, of an update. So what, what you would expect with Intellets now is that Intellets offer users the ability to execute prompts in a sequential order while gaining information from the previous prompt. Uh, the update to logic that we have today is that we now pass con contextual information from each prior prompt onto the, the prompt that follows. This allows us to construct our prompts in a little bit of a different way to gain more benefits out of the Intellets feature altogether. Um, I put together an example today to show some of the power and simplicity that Intellets can bring. Um, a lot of us who speak English have prompts that are driven by the English language because our large language models um, are great with textual information. Um, they're also great with multiple different languages. So I'm going to show you how you could take any English prompt or I guess a prompt in any language and open up language support for more languages. So in this case, we have Spanish to English and we have an English summarizer. I'm not going to show the details of these two prompts right now, um, but all you need to know is they're exactly as they sound. The first one translates, the second one is summarizing. So how would these work in series like I have them here? Uh, I, have a, I have this prompt or this intellect deployed. So um, you can see here, we can enter our Spanish text. So let's run a quick test. I just went into Google Translate, uh, typed in something kind of strange that is not easy to, you, know, you wouldn't just find it in a news article somewhere. So breaking news, the king of Wonderland has banned teddy bears for being too soft and fluffy. So let's take the Spanish version of this and let's put this into the input field on our deployed intellect. And let's see what our output looks like. So you see, here is the initial input. Here is the output of the first prompt, which is the English translator. So you see latest news, the King of Wonderland has banned teddy bears because they're too soft and fluffy. It's a pretty good translation. And then we get a summary. So it says soft toys banned because they're too soft. Um, so as you can tell, like if I were to provide multiple sections of, let's say like an, a Spanish publication, I could probably get the gist of, of what is going on relatively quickly just using the power of AI. Uh, 